Katie Garden Girl. Okay, excellent. And so, you, and that's on Facebook, right? <laughs> on Facebook, okay. yes. And really, we love answering your questions. So if you have questions about anything, ask us. Ask okay, away. they're super nice. Just like on television, it's their real personality. <laughs> okay, so Katie's back, and we're going to talk about. That. I love this. This is a butterfly patio tree. So not a butterfly bush. First of all, there's, I love butterfly bushes of any kind because they all attract butterflies, but some of them get like oh, ginormous God, yes. and they take over your garden and they are falling on the ground. And then sometimes we sell compact butterfly bushes that are still something that's a shrub and you plant it in the ground or put it in a pot. This is an actual beautiful patio tree. So you can see it's got a, um, a trunk that branches out into all of these gorgeous, you know, bottle brush shaped blooms. This one's color is called Blaze Pink and it is a brand new variety for you today. Ooh. Brand new. So five payments of $872. Normally the price on this is going to be closer to $50, which is typical of a really beautiful patio right. tree. But our price today is around $43 and you also get that five easy pay opportunity. So I would definitely consider this. Um, you're getting free shipping as well, and it comes like a pretty darn good size tree. It sure tree does, yeah. When you I mean, first get it out of the box. Look and it's a that. fast grower. So the great thing I love about this is, as you said, some of the butterfly bushes that you may have seen in some gardens, they get to be so big. Mm -hmm. This is still the same family of that compact right. variety. So the really fun thing about Cottage Farms has trained it into a tree for you. So it's going to be hard to find somewhere else, mm -hmm. but it will always stay this nice compact shape. So it's never going to have one big one, you know, stem growing off this way and one stem growing off the, the other way. Right. It's always going to have this shape. So if you don't want to prune it and have it be a little bit of a more of a wild look, you never actually have to prune it. That's one of the biggest questions I get, especially for trees, is mm -hmm. when do I prune it? How do I prune it? This will always keep that shape. I love this is a, uh, the, the leaves on this are actually kind of more like a um, um, what am I thinking? Lantana. They look like they look like mint to me too. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's scented. It's, 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 yeah, so it has, it's different than any other butterfly bush is. plant you've ever tried. It, and, and again, back to the scent, it will, we talk about uh, butterflies, the mm. scent of this thing, mm -hmm. the, both the foliage here and the flowers have a scent. And so it will be loaded. This is like butterfly candy. It's kind of citrusy. I really it like is. it. Yeah. So um, what type of and size of pot would you recommend? So I, I would plant start when you get this at home, as we talked about opening up your box as soon as you can. If you can't plant it right away, that's fine. These love full sun, this mm -hmm. butterfly bush. So I'd take it and put it in a sunny spot. Okay. But then I would step up from this container to about a 16 inch container. Okay. If you live in a place where you have about, if it gets to be below 30 degrees, not negative 30, 30 degrees, then yeah. and you're keeping this in a container, step it up to that 16 inch container. It will grow. This is probably its second year mm -hmm. here. So it is fast. I mean, there's no buds on this one, but it is ready. It's almost got buds on it and it will be flowering soon for you. I ordered a bunch of these last year, not in the tree and not in this color. Well, we didn't have it last yeah, year. Yeah, no. New. Um, the other thing I want to remind you of too, that um, this is a perennial, but if it's in a pot, the best thing to do is again, drag it into your garage. That's right. And you know, just water it when you first put it in there and then just let it sit there over the winter. Yes. And then it's not dead. It just goes dormant and then it'll spring back to life. It will. When the weather gets warm and you put it back out in the sun. Yes. So this is something that <sighs> you can keep in a pot and again, it gets bigger every year because you haven't cut it down. You yes. just let it go to sleep. And if you do have it in a larger pot, let's say a couple of years after you're 16, you put it in a 20, the mature height of this tree could be eight, six to eight feet tall. Wow. So this is a nice big tree. And I mean, we talk about the eight inch flower spikes. They're mm -hmm. enormous. They make great cut flowers. Mm -hmm. Not they only do. do they look beautiful in the garden, but that honey aroma, when you cut them and bring them inside, they're such an mm -hmm. unusual shape. They're so fun. And butterflies get so mesmerized feeding off of these flower blooms that you can go right up to them with your camera and take a super extreme close up. They don't even care. They're completely ignoring you. It's such a cool way it to get is. like tons of butterflies in your garden. I remember one summer we had a row of butterfly bushes and they were just like there was like 50 butterflies on yeah. each one. It's I it's, mean, it's just like you're at, at a butterfly farm or something. That's what I was going like you're in a conservatory. Yeah. I mean, the girls, will, my two daughters will actually walk up to our pollinator garden where we have most of our butterfly bushes, and the butterflies have landed on them. Yeah. Because there's so many of them. Uh -huh. They're flying all around. So it yeah. really does make it so much fun. And that's what we want our gardens to be, is alive. We want, so, you know, all of this life in our garden. Yeah. And planting a butterfly bush, it's, it's a staple for any pollinator garden that you mm -hmm. have. Even if you don't have a pollinator garden, it's just fun, especially that you can put this on your patio. Yeah. Where you could not 
not have a butterfly bush before because they were too big. Mm -hmm. Now you have a tree with a sturdy trunk and you have it in a container. I'd say throw your container on wheels. Yeah, So that way you can idea. move it around, mm -hmm. you know, if you're entertaining or if mm -hmm. you just want to have it where you're having your morning coffee and watching the butterflies. So this is new and it's in a variety of color that we usually don't see in butterfly bushes either, which again are usually in pastels, blues and That's light right. purples or yes. light pinks or white. This is a super vivid, bright pop of pink called blaze pink and it's going to be in the shape of a patio tree. You can kind of um, trim it to stay you in can. this shape if you want or just kind of let it go a little bit more wild. Mm -hmm. But it will keep this nice compact form mm -hmm. and that's what's the great thing about this blaze pink is that it's never going to get out of control. You won't have to worry about how do I care for it. Now it does take our normal fertilizer that we've shown you in the okay. show, the bud and flower booster which, which I think is, is over there behind right here. you. Yep. Yes. Uh -huh. And so particularly we like to talk about uh, container grown plants. Yeah. When your plants are grown in a container, they don't have the access to the soil around them. Right. So they really especially like to have that fertilizer, those good nutrients. And honestly, this is pre-measured. The, the uh, wrapper on it dissolves in the water too. You just put it right into your gallon jug that your milk came in or, or a big gallon watering can and then water these what every couple of weeks? I'd say every two there? weeks yep It'll and that will really just well. help keep the vivid color help them growing strong so they won't and these will bloom for you non-stop all summer long. Fantastic get a couple of these and have them flanking uh, maybe the, two of the windows in front of your house Ooh, or your front porch or the corners of your deck absolutely stunning and again have them year after year in a pot just bring them inside over the winter into the garage. Okay Still to come, we have salvia in the show, but this is a skyscraper salvia.